final episode of my UK vlog. This vlog contains a very candid take on us visiting some amazing places in the UK like St. Paul's Cathedral, Madame Tossard's, the city of Bath, etc. If you haven't already, please do check out my previous episodes of the UK travel series. St. Paul's Cathedral sits at the highest point of the city of London. This beautiful cathedral was built in the 17th century and witnessed so many historic events such as the wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana and many more. Fun fact, the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral is among the highest in the world. Just got out of the church and it started raining once again. I'm not happy about that. So we got into Garfunkel's, it's a restaurant and I'm craving, you know what, the hot chocolate. And I'm also meeting a friend of mine, her name is Snegda and she has a YouTube channel. Uh, we met on YouTube actually, so I'm just waiting for her while we wait for our table here. And I have my hot chocolates with mini marshmallows, oh yeah. So we just got out of Garfunkel's, hi! <laughs> so we had a cup of hot chocolate and it was really nice. With yeah. lots of marshmallows. With lots of marshmallows and a lot of cream. Because I'm kind of addicted. You know when I go back to Kuwait, you can, you'll see that in my selfies. I'll be like, mm, all chubby. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, now we're uh, going to Madame Tussauds and she'll be heading back home, right? I think I'll go to Selfridges and check out Charlotte Tilbury makeup. <laughs> <laughs> To be very honest, we were kind of underwhelmed with Madame Tosas. We stopped for a quick drink at Nando's, stopped by Charlotte Tilbury and then headed to Belle Rose for dinner with our friends. We are at Covent Garden and we have a dinner, dinner reservation at Belgio <laughs> and we are five minutes late and my best friend is really pissed off with me because we are five minutes late she's so pissed off with me so she's ran in she's gotten inside and i'm still like kind of like butterflying around <laughs> it's kind of fun irritating her We just finished the food at Belgo. The food was okay. The ambience, the atmosphere was really nice. Now we're gonna meet another friend that I met on Instagram. <laughs> Why do you keep teasing me? Oh, <laughs> oh no. My viewers are gonna hear my real laugh. <laughs> Sorry. Let me be grateful again. Suddenly I become British as well. Look at that! <laughs> wow! We're gonna go to some bar. She's waiting for us there. Her name is Shweta. I believe she has a YouTube channel of her own as well.
we met them at a cute little bar. We got talking and then we just had to move the party to their house. Somehow a conversation between pet lovers always ends up like this. Or at least in my head it does. They just moved into their new home and still they were so kind to call us over for a cup of coffee with Jinnu. And oh my god, we fell in love with Jinnu. And she was enjoying every second of the attention, you guys. We spent some more time with them. In spite of it being very, very late at night, we just couldn't help it. And then headed back home for a very short sleep because we had to wake up early in the morning to catch our bus to Stonehenge and Bath. And we had no idea what awaited us tomorrow. Who is a tired little doggy? Okay, I got whacked a few times. <laughs> We just came back from the uh, Stonehenge and got into a little cafe to stay warm because we couldn't have picked a worse day, honestly, to go to the Stonehenge. It is raining, it is cold, we, and it was really windy, so windy and rainy that we really couldn't see anything, you know. Sun was not shining, so anyways, I'm here in the cafe ordering, you know what, a deluxe hot chocolate. Cream and marshmallows. Oh, yeah. It was very unfortunate that we really couldn't see much of the Stonehenge at all actually because of the rain. Now on our way to the quaint little town of Bath. We just reached Bath and the temperature and climate in Bath is really beautiful and the place is looking so beautiful. But we are drenched and it is not good. I'm shivering and my feet. Look at that. Not a good day to wear sneakers. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't wear my boots and regretting it. I saw a Primark here. I'm just gonna get some fresh socks. Oh, need to be comfortable. Since we were part of a group tour, we really didn't have the luxury of time to sit down and relax. But since we were so wet and miserable and cold, we had to get into a warm restaurant, change clothes and have a warm meal. We also met up with my cousin here and he took us around for the next hour. Wow, so pretty. Finally, it's a nice day. Okay, so we finally went to Primark, got a fresh pair of socks and all of that kind of stuff. We are dry and warm and had lunch with my cousin. The rain is finally settled and it's a nice sunny day. Finally, this is what we're used to. Nice. So we have just about half an hour. Wow, look at that. Look at that. That's the Bath Abbey. What a pretty church. I dried my shoes under the hand dryer. Wow, this place is so pretty. Half an hour is not enough to see this. Is it always rainy over here? No, uh, but this time, this, around this time, yeah. Mm, during the winter, huh? Okay my loves, I have to apologize for the shaky footage and the low quality of video here. I was not feeling too well. Anyways, we made our way into the very very famous Sally Lung's Bun House. Bun t-shirt. Oh, this is so cute. This is, oh god, look at this. Wow. Oldest house in Bath, Sally Lung Bun. Oh, it smells so good
as you see them today. But this structure here used to be a ground floor structure and where she's standing is actually the level of the street at the time. And then what's happened is that they've raised the pavement outside to suit the houses opposite and they've raised them by building archways. And through to the right there, that curved structure where the stalagmites and stalactites are formed, uh -huh. that curve is the start of one of the many archways that goes all the way along the streets at the top. So when they built the archways and raised the pavement, they turned this into a bad basement. So people carried on working here right up until 1900. Mm. That's a big <laughs> Just put jam in there, eat. Honda jam. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. Really? We gobbled up the warm, delicious bun like hungry little kitties and walked towards the Roman baths. The Roman Baths is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the UK. Lying in the heart of the city, the Roman Baths were constructed around in 70 AD as a grand bathing and socialising complex. So basically, this was a public bath, like a giant public jacuzzi. Mm -hmm. The city's unique thermal springs rise in the side and the baths still flow with natural hot water. The Romans believed that this was the mystical work of the gods, but we now know that the water source which comes from the king's spring fell as rain water back in 10,000 BC. Amazing, right? After the exploration, we were allowed to sip the spa water in the pump room. It contains 42 minerals and is believed to have healing powers. But in all honesty guys, it tasted pretty bad. To me, I'm sorry. Oh, it's so warm. We didn't have to put our finger in the other one. <laughs> Then it was time for us to temporarily bid farewell to the sweet city of Bath and my darling cousin. See you soon, Savio. The only good thing about going on a group bus tour, in my opinion, is the tour guide. I really love listening to them talk about their cities, but you really are on a tight schedule and they really decide your plan out, which I really didn't enjoy. All of these buildings along here have recently been recently been restored and cleaned. That is pretty much it for our London tour. We just got back from Bath. Altogether it was really lovely and it was actually the longest vacation we've ever taken so far. It was really nice. Thanks to our friends because we felt at home with their house because usually we get very homesick by the fifth day. So tomorrow morning we'll be getting up quite early and going to the airport and flying back to Kuwait. We are just at the airport now gonna get inside and check in and hopefully everything goes okay uh, because I think we are slightly overweight. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've watched every video in this whole series because I'm sure there will be many many videos. Um, yeah, please subscribe and like this video. I shall see you later. Bye!